This man ate a plane. I think it's fair to say that is a genuine light bulb. Born in France in 1950, Michel Letito became better known as Monsieur Mange Tout. That means Mr. Eat Everything. And trust me, he did. He had the world's strangest diet. He consumed a Cessna aircraft like these. It actually took him two years to munch his way through the metal. They apparently he started this because he accidentally broke a glass in his mouth when he was a kid, nine years of age. It, it just took off from there. So Mr. Monge II first appeared in the 1984 edition when he was recognised for having the greatest, widest diet. So I think he was called the greatest omnivore. The record title has changed over the years, but the idea is the same. It's the person who's eaten the most strangest things. Monsieur Monge II ate 18 bicycles. 15 supermarket trolleys, six chandeliers. He ate two beds and he downed a pair of skis. Doctors x-rayed his stomach and said Monsieur Monge II had a unique ability to consume two pounds, that's 900 grams, of metal each day due to his extra thick stomach lining and strong digestive juices. People were just amazed and almost couldn't believe that there was someone who could eat this much metal in glass and seemingly have no adverse effect. I kid you not, these are pieces of metal cut from the car. He's washing it down with some water. Bon appétit, by the way. Thank you. It's fascinating this case is so well documented. We have seen x-rays of uh, Mr Monge too eating. Uh, also, you can see his stomach and how the metal is in there. It's reassuring that it is, has been proven scientifically that the stuff is going through him. His wife always is frustrated by the fact that as he processed the metal, the acid and as it just passed through the system, it would slightly take the hard edge off the metal and you would then end up passing it as you would any food stuff that you don't digest. In his case, at quite high speed, like bullets. So the danger, as she said, and it really annoyed her that every time he went to the bathroom, he would end up chipping the porcelain at home from these basically but bullets, you know. Flash that. Well, I thought genius idea of why don't we hire a landing strip, a runway, and then just pile the runway full of all the things that Michel had eaten in his lifetime. He was lovely, he was very gentle, but unable at that point to eat metal, although he did eat some cigarettes. Um, and my mobile phone went missing in that shoot, and I thought, has he eaten my phone? Sadly, Monsieur Monge II died of natural causes in 2007 at the age of 57. Guinness World Records has built its reputation on finding the world's most amazing, interesting, quirky, uh, shareable information in people. And I think Michel Zito takes every box for that. He's fascinating. You want to tell your friends at school or down the pub. It's almost like you just cannot believe that this is a real thing which is why I think he qualifies. I think he is officially amazing. Definitely a curio. There are not many people in the world like him and we'll never see his likes again, I suspect. So he very much deserves his place in the Curious Case book. And there you have it. The Curious Case of Monsieur Mange II, the man who literally ate everything.